Hello folks, this is part two of my Viking character, where I will show you how I made creative shadows underneath him. Now pay attention to the area under the character's feet. No shadows there, which makes him look like floating in the air. And I want to have a shadow there to make it uh, all look more real. So what I did was this. First I want my character on a green screen for chroma keying. Go to the scene menu and choose background. Then you open up the default backgrounds that comes within the software. I just chose the one called living room because I knew uh, I wouldn't use it for anything anyway. Originally it's yellow-ish and it will be yellow-ish in your software too. Right click it and uh, choose the find file option. It will open up the folder where this file is located. Then you just right click the file and choose the open it with option to load it into whatever picture or photo editor you have. Here in my case it's uh, PaintShop Pro but it could be uh, any editor of your choice. Then you just make it all green for your green screen background or blue if that's your preferred chroma key color. Uh, blue would be smart if you have uh, if your character has any green colored areas because else the green will become invisible. Anyway, when color filled, then just hit save to automatically overwrite the uh, original file. Now back in uh, CTA, the living room background will be changed. Double click it and you now have a green screen for uh, chroma keying in an external uh, video editor. Then just render out your, your video file, choose your preferred settings and export it. Right, so now we're done with Crazy Talk and uh, now working in a video editor. I have loaded in my green screen render here and here's my control panel for this editor's chroma keying settings. I have already put the settings as I wanted, so it's all good. But before I go on, I need to tell you that please don't pay attention to this video editor. It's not available on the market anymore because the company went bankrupt. So you cannot get this software anymore. However, most newer video editors should have all the same features only in another interface. So please pay attention only to the method I use and not on how it's done in this particular software. Uh, green screen, blue screen, chroma keying, it's all the same. And that's what you need for this method on uh, shadow making. All right, so here it is with a picture background and with a solid gray background. I can play it once again here just to show you that uh, nothing is changed. Okay, so what I did then is I copied my movie file to make two layers. Now look at the feet when I turn on the background layer and then off the front layer. This is the copied background layer properties where I have flipped it upside down. You cannot rotate it 180 degrees because then it will be mirrored. So you need to flip it upside down without the left right mirroring. Now playing and it's all the same, just flipped upside down. I will take it down here and open up or turn on my front layer again. I'm moving my copied background layer. You see here, when playing it again, it's just flipped.
and then I moved the feet down to match the feet of my front character because that's where I want my shadow to be. Now then when playing it's like he is standing on his own flipped feet. And with the photo background, and I have cut off the background uh, layer bottom edges uh, in the properties too, it's just a small adjustment. But it's not cool yet, because we need to blur it out to soften it. So here comes my blur effect layer. It will probably be a different interface in your editor, however blur is what we want. So now I will see to place the cursor right where it's clear to see, like right here. Then I can take my blur effect envelope up and down to strengthen or lower the effect and too much totally dissolves it all. So down again and place it somewhere here in the middle and we get a nice blurry uh, shadow effect. Now, whoop, there it is. <laughs> Let me show you again quick with the chroma key and green screen. Now uh, let's off the green screen of both layers. All you can see is the front layer as how we started. Now of course we need that to be a chroma key so we can see the background layers. So here we go. So what you see now is the front layer and the background layer, which is now without chroma keying activated. And with the properties of cutted edges. The blue track layer is our blur effect. And then now I turn on the background layer chroma keying. Again, with and without the blur. Yeah, team music coming straight at you. That's me, DC, the brain supreme. And my man Steve Foley. Bring it back, y'all. Bring it back, y'all. Bring it back. Here we go. That's it folks, have a great day, bye.